Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So today I want to talk about the most brutal Space Marine chapters. Now I know every chapter is brutal. Space Marines won't get anywhere if they weren't brutal. But there's certain chapters that stand out. Certain chapters like have off-screen antics which really make you think. Are these guys really, really chaos or are they actually for the Emperor? Some of them just rip and tear. Absolutely just mad on the battlefield. So let's jump in and let's get talking. Now let's kick this video off with the Marines Malevolent. Now the Marines Malevolent do not have a known gene father. We don't know where they come from. There has been some talks that they are descended from the Iron Warrior gene lineage, but again, that is just rumor. It's just hearsay. We can't really put our fingers on there, but the way they act on the battlefield is very Iron Warrior-ish. And what I mean by that is that they don't care who is in the way of their target. If you are a friendly, if you are a Space Marine Inquisitor, they do not care. They will bombard you along with the enemy. Now, this has led them to get in conflict with a couple of chapters and also the Inquisition. Now, one of the chapters, of course, the Salamanders, which we'll get into in a second because that takes place with the Third War of Armageddon. But one of the other chapters that people don't really realize is the Star Phantoms. The Star Phantoms were nearly wiped out by the Marines Malevolent. These are both loyalist chapters. This happened during the Macarian Crusade. For those of you who, again, don't know what the Macarian Crusade was, Lord Solar Macarius launched a crusade into the stars to reclaim some planets and, well, a vast part of space for the Imperium. Um, the Marines Malevolent deployed their entire chapter. Um, the Star Phantoms deployed a lot of their Marines there. But when Lord Solar Macarius died, there was some heresy that went on, and the Marines Malevolent turned on the Star Phantoms in a conflict and nearly wiped them out. The Star Phantoms only got out through the skin of their teeth. The Inquisition got involved, they declared that they weren't heretics and stuff like that, and the Marines Malevolent went on serving the Imperium as they do. Now, another conflict happened during the Third War of Armageddon, and this was with the Salamanders. Now, the sector that the Marines Malevolent were given, um, of course, there was orcs there, but there was also thousands of refugees there. But the Marines Malevolent didn't give a toss about that, so they basically bombarded the area to try and kill as many orcs as possible, and and also killing thousands of refugees in the process. So the salamanders seeing this took a massive offense to it. We all know what the salamanders are like. Salamanders are the complete opposite of the Marines Malevolent. So when it comes to protecting humanity, they're at the top. And when it comes to probably destroying humanity to get the job done, Marines Malevolent are probably at the bottom. Now the rumor is, is that Chapter Master Tushan of the salamanders confronted the captain of the Marines Malevolent and um, kind of slapped him and challenged him to an honor duel but nothing really came out of it again that is just rumors according to the law and the next chapter we have is called the labators and these chaps are from Gilliman's gene lineage. Who would have thought that some Ultrarines would have been some naughty, naughty boys? So the Labators information we have, it says the Labators are amongst the more brutal and uncompromising of the signs of Gilliman. Their name stems from their practice of letting their foe's blood and dedicating it as an offering to the Primarch and the Emperor both. The chapter has faced censure on several occasions for its treatment of captive enemy commanders and champions who, in the Labators' eyes, make for the worthiest of offerings so i don't know about you chaps but when you start sacrificing blood and enemy commanders to your primarch and the emperor i think you are starting down a very very dark path there's one god which i personally think which would smile upon that and that is corn let the blood flow that's you know what what's corn's all about so i think the labators for me are one of the most brutal chapters because the way they treat their prisoners the way they sacrifice people on the battlefield well, i say on the battlefield but as soon as they get them into their possession and they start offering blood offerings to the emperor and gilliman is just totally strange and bizarre and just wrong in every type of way surely these chaps should know about chaos and what that kind of stuff brings upon themselves now if we're talking about blood it's only fair that we mention probably one of the most bloodiest chapters out there which is of course the flesh terrors gabriel seth should i say chapter master gabriel seth has led the flesh terrors now for some time and they're probably at the top of the scale when it comes to the most bloodiest brutal chapter out there just to the ways of their warfare they just rip and 
and tear. They've had actually some run-ins as well with the Inquisition. One Inquisition um, member, which actually um, tried to get rid of um, Gabriel Seth um, at one point. This is from the audiobook Blood in the Machine. So if you haven't listened to this, then um, please excuse the spoilers um, through, through as I speak about this. Um, but basically what happened is that the Inquisitor um, led Gabriel Seth and his band of merry men um, to a destination where they had to kill some orcs, but it was all the trick in the end because the Inquisitor tried to um, leave uh, Gabriel Seth for dead to get some revenge because Seth killed the Inquisitor's master, but Seth escaped um, along with some of his retinue, some of his friends died, which is probably the worst thing you can absolutely do, and then he launched a vengeance crusade, well I say a vengeance crusade, he launched vengeance upon this Inquisitor. The Inquisitor actually tried to escape on like um, a medical freighter, which was full of, you know, of course, you know, injured troopers and stuff like that, trying to get out of the system, and what did Gabriel Seth do? He unleashed um, um, Death Company on there, he just he just unleashed them. Like, okay, Death Company, go get her. Go get her and unleash your revenge. Because he knew like the Death Company would eventually just kill themselves because everyone they see is like, Horace, you're Horace. No, you're Horace. No, I'm Horace. We're all Horace. Kind of thing. So um, there kind of be like no evidence left like when they came to it. So that is very, very brutal for me. You know, wiping out an entire medical ship just to kill this one person out of an act of revenge is just beyond just insanity for me. And that's why the Flesh Terrors are one of my most favorite, but one of my most feared chapters um, on this little list. Now, I'm going to stick with another Blood Angel chapter here, but I'm just going to briefly go over it because I've already done videos dedicated to this chapter. I actually did their last stand a couple of days ago, but the Knights of Blood are also a very, very brutal chapter. They're that brutal that even Gabriel Seth, who we just spoke about, fought like the Knights of Blood were completely insane. He didn't want his chapter anywhere near him from the fear of, you know, their chapter becoming like that chapter. So that puts you in a standpoint of what the Knights of Blood are like compared to the Bloody Flesh Terrors. But like I said, I don't really want to go into too much detail about them because I've already done a video about them a couple of days ago. You should go and check that out. It's um, a really good lore video. And the next chapter I want to talk about is the Carcharodons, aka the Space Sharks. Now, I've always been intrigued about the Space Sharks because where do they come from? Who is their gene father? There's been hints that they are Ravengar there's been hints that they come from the Night Lords. There's even talk about that they're a ascended from both of those gene lineages, and they just mix in there. Now, one of the conflicts that really stood out for me for the Space Sharks was the Badab War, and one of the battles that stood out in the Badab War was um, when they fought against the Executioner chapter, who wrongly chose the wrong side um, of that war, but they served penance, and they are now loyal again to the Imperium. and the Sons of Dawn saw their mistakes, and, you know, they're back in the Emperor's good graces, let's say. Um, but in that battle, um, it, I think it took place on, a, like, an asteroid, and um, the person who destroyed discovered the battle just found an absolute battlefield of just death despair and carnage there was like broken bodies you know people split in half people missing heads hands arms and um, legs anything that can be cut off was probably cut off on that battlefield and it just shows how brutal the space sharks can be when they unleash their fury upon space marines and finally i want to finish the video with the minotaurs now the minotaurs hold a special place in my heart because i personally think that they're iron warriors i know like the person who wrote about and more or less confirmed that they were iron warriors i know a lot of people were saying that they, they descended from the world eaters and stuff but for me they're always going to be iron warriors so that's why i have a certain hatred for them. Um, now, one of the things um, that really stands out for me with the Manitors is that they, of course, they follow um, the orders of the High Lords of Terror. If Gilliman came along and said, hey, Manitors, go and do that, and the High Lords came along and said, hey, go and do that, then they would listen to the High Lords. I know it's kind of strange how Gilliman's in charge of the High Lords and everything like that, but their loyalty will always be to the Imperium rather than a Primarch. That's probably what I'm trying to say um, during this whole segment. Um, but there was a, a scene in Chris Rate's latest book called The Regent's Shadow, where it's custodians and sisters of silence, and the Minotaurs get called in to help the High Lords on Terror to do some things. They're actually there just exterminating like hive cities and stuff, just brutalizing it, just like we talked about that with the Marines Malevolent at the start of the video, they were doing that kind of thing to like Hive City to try and root some traitors out and stuff like that. But um, the custodians actually go against um, the Minotaurs in one of the scene 
and um, one of them just gets absolutely swamped by Minotaurs, and they actually just break him apart. It, they're just that brutal. Like they just they, they know like they can't go one on one with him, so they just swarm the targets and just just rip and tear him apart, and just absolutely just break the body of a custodian. I was like, oh my god, these chaps are really really brutal when it comes with like there's there's just no zero care given. And um, there was also another scene like when um, they're actually looking at, like on the chapter master um, um, of the Minotaur chapter. This is the custodians who are looking upon him and he's he's kind of like no emotion there i think he described him as kind of robotic and i know a lot of people uh, i spoke to was like is he a robot under there is he more machine than he is man now that'd be very very interesting turn of events that he's kind of like a robot chapter master and um, it would make sense because you know the manitors do have no personality at all just like their iron warrior genes Anyway, Chaperunios, that is me done for another fun little video. I just thought it's time to do something different today. I just wanted to talk about Space Marine chapters. Oh my god, Sparrow talk about Space Marines on his Space Marine channel? There's something new. Um, I would also get your thoughts and feedback on this, of course. Please post who you think the most brutal Space Marine chapter is. Do you agree with some of the chapters I put on here, or do you think there should be others added on here? I know there's more chapters out there that should be on here, but I just didn't want to make this video like 40 plus minutes long of me just rambling about, you know, certain chapters and stuff. I just wanted to sum up some of the big boys so post them down below and we'll have a nice little chat down there as we always do see you now have a great day and bye bye